welcome back to another LLTV broadcast. My name is Jason. And my name is Shraddha. Star tests have been going on this past month. And for those who still need to take it, good luck. To start, we have some local news and information about upcoming events happening in and outside of Lawler. Let's go to Rithvik and Arushi to find out more about the events that are going on this month. Welcome to Lawler Today, where we give you the latest news on current events, locally and nationally. Let's start off with some information about Earth Day and how efforts were made to preserve our world. To begin, Earth Day is in the month of April, observed on April 22nd. Earth Day marks the anniversary of the modern environmental movement in America in 1970, which was the first year this annual holiday was celebrated. Before actions were taken by numerous individuals, air pollution was widely accepted and had increased due to industrialization. Later came the founding of Earth Day. Senator Gaylord Nelson, a junior senator from Wisconsin, was concerned about the deteriorating state of the environment. Wanting to make a change, Nelson brought together different people who worked together to educate students in college about air and water pollution. He eventually developed this program into being held all across the United States. Earth Day promoted unity too. It brought everyone together regardless of their beliefs and made them advocate for different environmental problems like oil spills and toxic dumps. The government students soon started to take action, passing numerous acts including the Clean Air Act, Clean Water Act, and Rodenticide Act. These acts have helped to protect hundreds of species from extinction and millions of people from disease and death. And as Earth Day continues to be celebrated annually every year, let us continue to preserve our wonderful world. Later in this episode, we'll go to Anushka and Meghna to see how we can bring awareness to help our Earth. Speaking of bringing awareness, April is Autism Awareness Month. This month is used to raise awareness for those with autism. It kicks off with International Autism Day on April 2nd. Throughout the month, we focus on sharing stories and providing opportunities to increase understanding and acceptance of people with autism, fostering worldwide support. Autism Spectrum Disorder, more commonly known as autism, is a developmental disorder that impairs the ability to communicate and interact. This disorder impacts the nervous system. People with ASD may communicate, interact, behave, and learn in ways that are different from most people. Approximately 1 in 54 children are diagnosed with autism. Here are some ways that you can participate in this month. You can connect with kindness by sharing resources and stories on social media to increase global understanding and acceptance. You can also start a fundraising campaign, donate, or help promote advancing policies for people who have autism. And since we're acknowledging National Autism Awareness Month, let's acknowledge some of the achievements of our legends. Track and field season has come to an end, and our legends have done amazing in different events. Congratulations to the following legends for scoring high in the recent meet. Great job, legends. That's all we have for Lawler today this month. See you next time on Lawler Today. Bye, Legends. Wow, that was some great news. I know, right? Hey, Shraddha, have you heard about our awesome SRO? Yeah, he makes sure that our school is always safe. I know, right? So let's go over to Rajiv and learn more about our SRO and what he does for us. Officer Thompson, our school SRO, works hard to keep our school a safe place to be. Let's go ask him a few questions so we can learn more about him. Hey guys, I am Officer Thomason. I am the school resource officer here at Lawler Middle School. So I grew up in Allen. I went through Allen schools, graduated from Allen High School, um, eventually went to college, went to University of Oklahoma. And then after that, I was hired by Frisco Police Department. I have, uh, let's see, I have been a police officer for about, coming up on 15 years, and 
the entire time I've been a police officer has been here at Frisco Police Department. So, um, I have been lucky enough to where I've only been at Lawler. So the Lawler opened up in 2018 and I've been here since day one. I have not been an SRO at any other school and I hope that I never am. There's a lot of reasons why, you know, police officers become police officers. Ultimately, my dad being a police officer is what led me. Then after I grew up a little bit, became an adult, you know, having a service-oriented mindset is kind of what pushed me to actually be, become a police officer or applying to become a police officer. That was pretty cool, don't you think? Yeah. Thank you to Rajiv for providing us with some cool facts about Officer Thomason. Hey Shraddha, did you know that this month is the month of Aries? Oh, that's so cool! Let's hand it over to Rhea and Rithika so they can provide us more information on the zodiac sign. If you have a birthday between March 21st and April 19th, you were born into the Aries zodiac. As fire and cardinal signs, they are very courageous, driven, passionate, independent, and can sometimes be a little hot-headed. Aries are also naturally strong leaders as they are the first zodiac in the chart making them the pioneers. Some examples of well-known celebrities that are born into this zodiac are Emma Watson, Robert Downey Jr., Paul Rudd, and Lady Gaga. You know, I didn't know all that about Aries. Yeah, those Pisces of information were really interesting. Yeah, and it totally wasn't Capricorn-y at all. Hey Jason, I have a joke for you. Why are people so tired on Earth Day? Hmm, I don't know. Why? Because they all just finished a march. <laughs> Good one. Speaking of Earth Day, Anushka and Meghna are experts over that holiday, so let's go over to them to learn more about this day. One tip that can be used to help your planet and Earth is recycling materials that you may find useless, such as plastic bottles, in order to create them into a new product that someone else might find as treasure. You can also help in recycling by picking up trash, uh, such as wrappers, plastic bottles, or other sorts of litter, and disposing them in the nearest recycling container. Fossil fuels have many negative effects on our environment. Fossil fuels can cause environmentally unsafe compounds to form in our atmosphere, depleting ozone levels. Burning fossil fuels like coal, oil, and gas results in the release of sulfur oxides and nitrogen oxides, eventually causing carbon pollution, resulting in climate change. There are many things we can do to reduce fossil fuel usage. For example, you can alternate your transportation methods. Instead of getting in your car to drive somewhere, you can use a bicycle or walk. You can also consider taking public transportation like a bus, train, or a subway system if it's offered. Another tip that can be used in your daily lives in order to help the planet is planting trees or any sort of plants. Also, watering plants will help your environment. Trees and plants absorb carbon dioxide that us humans find as unnecessary contents and um, extract from our own bodies. Therefore, when the plants help to intake the carbon dioxide, it helps balance out our ecosystem, making our air more clean and fresh. 
Saving energy reduces air and water pollution and conserves natural resources, which in turn creates a healthier living environment for people everywhere. At the same time, efficiency also saves money and creates jobs. There are many ways you can save energy. For example, you can take shorter showers, turn off lights while not being used, use solar power devices or energy, and use energy-saving light bulbs or longer-lasting light bulbs. All of these energy-saving activities benefit the environment and allow you to practice energy conservation from your household. That was really interesting. Thank you to Meghna and Anushka for all those facts about our beautiful planet. Hey Jason, have you ever gone outside during spring and taken a deep breath of fresh air only to experience your allergies at full force? Well, no, but spring is a really wacky time of the year from weather changing every two seconds to everyone's allergies ruining their days. Right? Well, let's go see some expectations versus realities over this crazy time of the year. Darkness, my old friend <sighs> What a nice day <laughs> that was hilarious. Thank you to Project Smart for those amazing skits over spring. Thank you guys so much for watching our broadcast. Don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube at Lawler Broadcast. And follow us on Instagram at Lawler Broadcast 2020. And remember, we are legends. <laughs>